Hey, how's it going, guys? Coach Bates here. So, in the event that we face a 1 3 1 um, zone, it's actually extremely difficult to play against if you haven't had experience against it. So, just in case it ends up happening, um, I put together a corner, and then this one I'm calling Vince Carter. You'll see why. So, let's go over corner first. And, and they're simple, okay? So, the alignment is just a straight line, it's line and one, right? Whoever's bringing up the ball. So you want to kind of wait a little bit, make sure that whoever the trail man is getting here. we got to get the trail man up here fast. So after we inbound it, uh, bring it up here nice and quick and everything like that. And we're going to start going. Let me bring this down. We'll do four. We're going to go ahead and start choosing a side, right? Um, on this one, it's not going to really matter too much. Let's talk personnel. So definitely Kim's going to be the point guard if they're running any kind of zone like this. So Kim will be the point guard. Um, we'll probably have Fabian here. Uh, let's do Xander here. Brandon, you're always going to be this block right here. It'll be between you. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, you'll be here. And then we'll do Sebastian here on this side, right? Um, Sebastian and Luis, so on and so forth. So this situation that we're in, we're bringing up the ball. We're choosing a side. Going to that side is going to shift everybody over, right? So they're going to come over here because they know this is the threat that you're going because they weren't sure at first, right? They know you're coming to this one, so they're going to shift over this one. I don't know why I didn't move him over, but he'll actually move over as well. Let me see if I do later. No, I don't. Let me edit this back. Hold on. I'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and made the adjustment. So, again, corner. That's what we're calling this one, right? Corner, because we're going to be attacking these corners. So we're going to go ahead and choose a side, go to that side. The defense is all going to adjust to it. And the reason we want these people here in the straight line is because of that. If this guy wasn't here, this guy wasn't here, three would just come and double this right here. So you're going to go through. You're going to go ahead and pass this back to this guy. Once this player is here, you can start kind of slightly cheating, but don't, don't do it until you see them getting ready to turn around and pass you the ball. So you're going to come up here, and that's going to force two. The first time, every single time, they're going to come to you because they know that ball's coming here. So bam, right there. They actually... To be honest, they probably would be down here already with you. As soon as that player starts going this way, that defender is probably going to cheat in. So we'll say that that's what they did. The ball's You're going to lift up to the three-point line. The ball's going to come to you, and notice, as that pass is being made, four is coming in. I don't want you to go all the way to the corner because that pass is going to take forever to get there. I want you closer over here to the wing, right? Because we're up high. Free throw line extended is where we are, so I want you to come closer to that wing and everything. Right as that's happening... You're sending that as soon as you catch that. You already know there's nobody here in the zone. You're sending it. Make that pass happen if you have to jump. If you, I don't even just just go. Just send that pass. So right as you send this right here, the post, which is going to be Brandon, right? Brandon, you're going to come down here and post up on, on whoever's down here. Now, there's a, small, there's a good chance that they're going to immediately rush out here because they're going to see this happening, and that just that means that that pass is coming straight to you. If you have that shot, especially because this is going to be Xander, take that shot. So, now, with that happening as well, do I have them? Let me make sure. Yeah. So, right as you catch it, you can attack, you can shoot, whatever it is that you want to do right here. As that's happening, I want the opposite wing to crash. Because this has to be quick. We have to either shoot or pass it inside for a shot fast. Three's crashing down just to get a board in case anything happens. Because we've got positioning on them, right? So three, ideally, you'll come in and then just start looking for this guy because this guy's probably cluttered up somewhere in here and just box him out like as if you were on defense. Just like that. So like I said, depending on where four is at, you can either pass it in or you can take the shot. But let's go ahead and uh, let it run on its own. So we're coming here, setting this pass here. Remember, the defender's probably already on you. Immediately kicking that to the four, and then the four is making that decision on what to do. As the four either shoots or passes, three is diving down to get that board. Okay, so that's that's that one. Let me set up for the other. All right, so again, they're set up in the one, three, one, and we're the, the straight line, the free throw line extended, or whatever you want to call it, right? But it's free throw line extended all in one line. We've still got the same personnel where we got our guard here. We got wing here, wing here, and then another wing here, um, which, of course, in this case, it happens to be the... There's, we don't have a big, but Brandon will be here. So, same exact setup, same everything, right? Because we want to make sure that when they start coming this way, we don't get doubled right away. So, this is happening. And then, you're going to have to do this. 
I don't want you staying in this spot. So, Kim, I want you almost peeling backwards, but not fully. But I want you coming back right here, either laterally or slightly back. This person has to make a choice, whether to come double or stick with them. Chances are they're going to stick with them, um, which is even better for us in this place. But if they don't, then whatever. As this is happening, five, you're going to come off your man and come over here and uh, start attacking this block because we want four moving over. Start attacking this block right here, posting up like you're about to get that ball. As that's happening, two, either two's, either the 2T, the defender, um, is already going to be with you or you're going to code to him, but you're going to pair up with them as this is all happening, right? And then right as they either commit or you're by yourself, whatever the case is, you're setting a back screen for four. And this has to happen like quick. So as she comes back, you're setting it and then you're going. And then there's that pass right here. And it's called Vince Carter because this one, in this case, it's a lob and it's a dunk. But obviously we don't have somebody like that. But that would be like Xander, for example, right? Now, in the event that the pass is late and we don't get it there and they or two just immediately rotates after the first time we run it they rotate to the four we've got this two right up here right here bam two's open they get a free basket right or you could penetrate and now you're attacking the defense but ideally just a free basket right now green means reverse go back to your spot Let's say they start reading and they know Vince is coming from the back. So they're going to come back here. Five's going to immediately run over to take over, take care of this or switch them over. Whatever the case is, they take this away here. If five isn't here in the spot they're supposed to be, guess what spot is open? Five spot is open, right? So where do we go? To five spot, to the elbow. And now we've got the elbow right there for the shot. And then, of course, now, because any time that they double in any of these corners, we've got we've got bodies. We've got the numbers advantage. We just got to get the ball across. So as soon as that ball gets here, you either got to shoot because you're open, or if they've rotated and everything like that, one of these three will be open for you. Either one of the two blocks or the three is going to be open for you. Okay. That's pretty much it. Let's uh, actually, you know what, let's run it through so you can see it. So there's the lob. And if it's not there because they went ahead and actually covered it right or we're late on the pass, whatever the case is, two is lifting for, uh, for a three-pointer from the slot. And if that's not there or five ends up cheating down or coming down like they're supposed to and everything like that or rotating because they were told to, now we've got that spot open. Either way, as soon as that ball comes out of this spot, we've got numbers. If, if he's not here to double, then he's going to be over here, which this is going to be an even easier thing because I know Kim could take somebody off the dribble, come this way, make that quick pass right here. So either way, I know Kim's going to get that pass in. And Fabian, if Kim is out, this is going to be your responsibility at the one spot. Hi, Joe.